you, Jim. Jim, I want to say thank you to you, the Alumni Association, Bill Dean, for all the work you've done in making this day possible. I do want to recognize a few people that flew down with me this morning. Uh, Sarah Barron is coordinator of Presidential Services and Communications. And I came down with three students who are members of President Select. Uh, Luke Bridges is a history major. Um, uh, uh, Mia Medina, and uh, I just, this is so embarrassing, uh, Alex Blitz uh, is a political science major. I didn't think there for a second. But these really, and there are many other students sitting here in the audience from Texas Tech, and I would say that they personify the quality of our student body, and they really help us in making such an emphatic case that Texas Tech and higher education in general provide such a great benefit to this state. And they're the best ambassadors we could have here today. And I really do appreciate them very much. Texas Tech has a great message to share. You know we've, we now receive the benefits of the National Research University Fund. We're in a mode of growth. We had a record enrollment this spring. We had a record enrollment last fall. And there's a great sense of momentum. And so we really do appreciate this chance today to take our message to our legislators. And I do want to say thank you to our legislators here. Representative Frulo, Representative Darby was here moments ago, we have, and Senator Duncan, and so many others who help our university in so many ways. But I'd also especially like to emphasize my appreciation to our alumni. Tech has a very special community. And I see it in so many ways. And it's you really give credibility to us when we say that we make a difference. Because you're a wonderful example of what the university produces. And your love and affection for the university really speaks to our credibility. So thank you for being here to all the alumni and all the supporters of Texas Tech.